Hello and welcome back to more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, where last time we played through the class trial for the second case of the game. Uh, and today we'll be starting up the third chapter, which is... I don't know the name of it, I don't think it actually gave us a name. But I'm actually really, really excited to start playing today, because for the first time in about a month, um... I can actually play this game in real time, because the last seven episodes I've had to record footage while listening to my comment heard track in the background trying to match it up with what I said, but now I can just sit back, relax, with a controller in my hand, and my eyes on the screen, and just relax, just play the game, do the voices, and just try to have a good time instead of trying to match up the gameplay to the, to the comment track I recorded six months ago. So, let's just keep going. <sighs> Oh, uh... I know I shouldn't cry, but... This is, this is quite a way to start the episode. <laughs> I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here? Anytime soon? It's... impossible. I can't let myself think about... how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... <laughs> yep, that's 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 how that sentence concludes. If I if I keep thinking about wanting to get out of here, I might just decide to donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Uh, okay. Are we um are, are are we playing as Hina now? Uh, I mean, hey, I, I I'd rather play as Hina than Sheep because Sheep is he he described himself as Perfectly average in every way. He's a literal sheep. He follows the herd. So I guess I guess it's more interesting. Um, I just definitely didn't expect to start out like this. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Are we actually are we we're actually playing a Cena? Okay. So here's a little fun fact about me. I've never had a donut in my life. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the information, but that's a little fun fact about me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? Uh. Is there a radio somewhere? Huh? What's that sound? I'm guessing it's probably the static coming from a radio. Sounds like it's coming from the the bathhouse. Okay, uh, my bets would not have been on that room as the place to find a radio. I'm super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? <gasps> um... Um... Come again? Wait, 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 wait a minute now. No, 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 you, no, 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 you don't get to bring that up and then just move away from it. I'm sorry, what was that? I, I, um, hmm, okay, let's review. So, we open with Hina really being in a depressed mood because she wants to leave. Then she decides that the cure for her sadness will be to go to the cafeteria and eat a donut. En route to the cafeteria, she hears a static radio, walks into the bathhouse where she thinks the sound is coming from, and sees a floating ghost head of whom appeared to be... Hero? I... Th I think? I... Uh... Hmm... Uh... Hmm... Um... It's... Uh, okay, let's let's just keep moving on and hope that that gets explained. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial, everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but then we found out about the ghost in the bathhouse. Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Togo and Bakuya still refuse to show up. Ah, we don't need them. And I haven't seen Miss, a Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So, then. so just the seven of us, then? Looks that way. That? It sounds like this where the co committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Impossible. Or not. Um, y you good there, Taka? Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. Huh? One look at his face showed he hasn't slept a wink last night. 
it was because of Mondo. You weren't that close. Like, I'm not kidding. You had, like, maybe one meaningful conversation. First, you were you were yelling at each other over something stupid. Then you, like, spent... Maybe you, you spent the night in the sauna room, and then all of a sudden, you're, like, the best of friends. I guess. The two of them became so close. Did they, though? I, I don't buy that. I don't believe that they became that close overnight. And then having to watch Mono get punished, nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> oh, now I'm all depressed thinking about it. We simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Oh. Ever the optimist, aren't we, Celeste? Have we have every conven- Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, all every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? Because people are killing each other! In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Okay. Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case is our current situation not- <laughs> Demon angel, pretty pudgy princess. Huh? Huh? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, and the galactic king. What? What is that sentence that I just read? And, and, what I mean is there's no 2D here. You see, it's funny because they're all 2D. There is nothing to be the done. mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well anyway, since Tuck is like catatonic. Mm. Also, wait, does that mean that he, we could satisfy him by just drawing a 2D picture and giving it to him like, here, do, do what you, do as you please. And then just like, he'll, he'll be content with the rest of his life. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up. Did we ever discuss how old we were? I don't think we did. I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching school. Searching? Right, well, I mean, right. since the class trial is over and all, Perhaps. there should be new places for us to investigate. Mm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Okay. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm. There may well be a discovery waiting for us which may further enrich our life here. Um. Yeah, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You know, I was, I was thinking like, okay, maybe it's gonna be Asa, uh, Asahina that comes in, uh, and we're gonna be like, hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? What's going on? Why weren't you here? Because I, I was gonna say I'd much rather go check on her to see if she's doing okay than I would go mess around in the school. And then uh, everyone's favorite character showed up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my favorite, Genocide Jill! What? Yeah, nobody called for you! Um, what the- how come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes. God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! <laughs> Plus, I have another battle to fight! The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone, I gotta destroy that stereotype. Yeah, I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Um, but you are a killer with a split personality. And if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh, Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. Yeah! Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on empty stomach. They're all surprisingly calm about Genocide Jill's new personality. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Good lord. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much-needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Okay. Uh, so last time what happened was the staircase opened up and... We were able to go up another level. Oh, by the way, um, I just want to mention this really quickly. You may have noticed that I'm playing this, uh, I've been recording this on the PS5 recently, but I originally recorded on the PC. Really, the only reason I did that is just because, I don't know, I just kind of, there really is no reason other than that. I I got the game for PS5, I want to I wanna record on the PS5, um, and I just kind of want to relax and play instead of being, I just kind of want to kick back and relax and play it on, on the PS5. That's really, there's really no reason I switched over other than that. However, um... There is the most baffling design decision that they made with this game, specifically on the PS5. This was, this was not a problem on the PC, but the right stick does control how you look around. You'll notice, I can look around with the right stick. However, moving with the left stick does not just control my movement. 
it also controls which direction I look. Which means if you are trying, if I'm trying to go up and to the left, but I'm trying to look to the right, it's like actively fighting against you. Which is the most baffling design decision I have ever seen for a console game, for a console first person game. Like this is actually the most insane thing ever. I, I don't get it. I really don't know why this was made. Um, and t to be fair, again, this is a problem with the port, not so much with the game itself. Um, but I still don't know why. But okay, so um, I'm s let's go up to the second floor. Actually, wait, no, first. Can we check on Hina? Can, can we, let's, let's, hold on, before we go anywhere, can, can, I, I doubt this will work, but let's go see if we can check on Hina. Um, she, her room is all the way down here, right? Like, was it the, like the last room? Yeah, okay, let's, let's check on her and see if she's doing okay, if we can. Does Hina's room have anything I need to talk to? Okay, fine. Uh, I gave it a shot. Um, I, w I wanted to check to see if she was doing alright, but I guess I guess the game doesn't want me to do that. Okay, so let's go let's go to floor two, uh, and all right, I guess I guess we can just warp here. Uh, oh wait, we can warp. Okay, let's warp right here. Uh, the stairs open now. Uh, aha, the stairs have opened up. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh yeah, by the way, I actually figured out how to use the warp feature now. The third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Uh, excuse me. I do not know. Let's... Okay, these are the stairs to go down, which means this... Oh, this area behind us is... Oh, God. Oh, this is just so much to explore. Yeah, like, walking around in this place um, it, with with this control scheme is a giant pain in the rear end. It's the only thing that I would uh, prefer about playing on the PC. Okay, so this is the rec room. Uh, Celeste is here. Hmm, so this is... Let's see. A recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They haven't even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! <sighs> Hi there, my name is Monokuma, and I pop up when I'm least expected and also least wanted. Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school, after all. You need a quick fix. Check out the swimsuit mags! And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, no, no! Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye-bye! Okay, so let's well, let's call this right now prediction because Monokuma is constantly talking about how everybody on the outside world is useless and help's never gonna come. What do you think the odds are that this is some post like? Because they never they said that we got knocked out and woke up like the next day or whatever, but it's never been confirmed. So what are the? Do you think we've done a zero escape thing where we like we were knocked out, put in some kind of cryogenic freezing tube or freezing pod? and kept here for a few decades and then brought back to- or woken up uh, after the world fell apart and like this is some post-apocalyptic fallout world. Maybe. Because he keeps referencing about how the outside world is, is a disaster right now and it's just like, I, like, no help will ever come. So, like, that, that's gonna be my prediction for now. I have no further proof other than a gut feeling and a couple obscure references, but still no definitive proof. Anyway. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me, too. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? That's what you had to- that was your reaction to that? Okay. Uh, well... I guess- okay. Oh, uh... Yeah, so L1 and R1 control... Oh, <laughs> Ever the egotist, Monokuma over here with his own personal logo. Okay, so there's- so this is the rec room. I'm just gonna try to check- I'm gonna, gonna try to check all the rooms. Okay, so the rec room is here. Uh, oh, hey, Kyoko's over here in the corner of the room. Uh, or the corner of the hallway. There's not a whole lot to it. Like, it's just a bunch of empty space for the most part. Where does this go? This goes to the... This is the hallway to the art room, I guess. Okay. Let's step inside. And... Ugh, of course we would find you here. If there was ever a chance to find 2D art, it'd be in this room. Of course I'd find you here. Something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. Hello, you. Well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Fumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are, like, borderline 2D, so it's okay. 
I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Sharonbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially my anything that Saburon Pogni makes. Sharonbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Ronpongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Museum Museum series, which led to a worldwide tour. Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. Is that a Pokemon reference? I feel like Forgot Forgot 45 told me about how, because after I finished my Pokemon Sword LP, she and I almost got my ass handed to me on a silver platter several times. She's like, "Good luck in other Pokemon games. We have to battle the Elite Four. So I, I'm guessing that's probably a reference to that. Anyway, but one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today he begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. As a 2D artist, I see. Well, good luck with that. Okay, that <laughs> reminds me of the Spongebob movie, where Plankton's like, I will rule the world, and Spongebob's only reaction is, okay, luck with that, and then just skips along to work. Okay, so there's a door back here. Where does door go? Also, I don't, I saw that game, don't think I didn't see that statue of Monokuma over on the right side of the room, and that would be a picture that just casually floated down from the, from the air. This is the repository that's attached to the art room, it's used to store different artsy things. Okay, yes, but there's also a photo on the ground right here that just kind of casually floated down. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture, but as I stretch out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, <clears throat> almost as if on its own, my hand froze. That's disturbing. So we have Leon and Mondo, the two killers, and Hero one of the two victims. Huh? What I saw in the picture was Hero, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Question started raising them head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When, when was it taken? Who took it? What's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? Well, here's my prediction. I think this might be the evidence we need to help prove my theory, because you see... Hold on, let me get close enough to the TV for me. Let's see this myself. Yup, yeah, that, that, that's a school chair right there. That is absolutely the kind of chair they have that, that, that I had in school. So, prediction. Now, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this photo is the evidence we need to help prove our case, because here's what I think happened. Okay, th that actually explains it. So, I think what happened is they went to school. She did show up at Hope Speak Academy that day, and he did get introduced, or he went to the orientation, and for a while, he lived there, and they were all friends, they were all chummy with one another, and they were all a nice, tightly-knit group of friends, until Monokuma somehow showed up and took over the school somehow, and then, I guess, kept them locked up and erased their memories, and then the whole world fell apart at the seams, and then they woke, and then he woke them up, to play the killing game or whatever, that's that's gonna be my prediction because that's the only way they're trying to trick you into thinking this is like a like the afterlife because these are the these are three dead people right here, but I think it's much more like this is a picture from before this all started. And in the picture of the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it, which must mean wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here to help speak. No, I think I think it was. It's just before. Cause that's the other thing. What is Monokuma? Like, I thought he was, when I first saw him, I thought he was supposed to be, like, this robot AI kind of, th or either an, a robot AI that has a, mo that just kind of does its own thing, or, um, or, like, an embodiment of someone, like, uh, like, the means through which someone else is communicating with everybody, but it, it's making it seem like he's an actual physical presence in this world, who's, like, an actual creature that, that walks around and everything, and it's... It's just weird. It's, it's really weird. I, I don't... I'm not fully on board. Like, I don't I don't fully know what's going on. Like, I, I know I'm not supposed to know what's going on here, but I just... There's there's a lot of mysteries that I, that I don't quite... That I, I can't wait to get to the bottom of. No time to find an answer. All the questions floating around in my head were quickly drowned out by... Uh, speak of the devil. Hi, my name is Monokuma, and I pop up when I'm least expected and also least wanted. That's mine! Give it back! 
Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo and any chance I had on answers evaporated. You peaked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? <sighs> Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered uh, why, why I bothered asking. Okay, well, the, uh, Lee's possible. yeah, that's, I'm, that, there doesn't seem to be much else interesting here for us to look at, so let's just head on out. Leave the area? Yes. Okay, uh, so what other rooms are that are explored here? Uh, I guess I could probably check the map. That's wrong. Is this, okay, yeah, it's triangle for the map. So we have the art rooms there, which leads to the repository. Uh, we had, I'm guessing this is the rec room. Uh, that, 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 where the, the thing is up, where my, where the triangle, the, the, the pointer is pointing right now. There's another thing over here, though. Uh, there's another room down this hallway. So, I guess, th this, this is the largest floor yet. What is this? Physics. Ooh, physics! I am down for that. As something of a science nerd myself, I am, oh my, what the, what is this? This is the physics lab. I think you mean this is Dr., this is Stupid vs. Evil Incorporated. It sounds like a classroom more like some kind of research institute. Or Doom Inference Evil Incorporated. Also perfectly valid option. Okay. Um, hello. What are you doing here? Hey, Taka, don't you think this place is some, like, is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Great. That did nothing. Okay. Um, what do we... Oh. There's a camera on the table here. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, still works. I should show the others later. Hey, look at this cool camera I found. I'm sure no one's going to care. Uh, but it's it's cool that you think they will care. And then, obviously, we have the question of what in the world is this thing? What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Uh, Hi, my name is Monokuma, and I pop up when I'm least expected and also least wanted. Watch out! What? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. This game's not going down the route of time travel. Or at least it better goddamn not be going down the route of time travel. The ultimate physicist! Oh, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? Someone can go back in time? Oh, suddenly he's interested. Okay, then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mono for sure! Oh, sorry. Not possible. This particular time, you can only go back one- Then what's the point? It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave oven one minute too long, and- uh, So you built a whole contraption just for that, really? One minute? Hmm, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the hole anyways. Okay, phew, phew. Dodge a bullet there, game. What? Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Oh! Of course! Obviously, that's what it would be. It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what with but what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly? Oh, sorry. But with the discombobulating low gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier, and more than that. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Let's, um, actually, uh, oh, we can't leave. Better look around. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I guess we'll, let's check out the back room. Well, after we finish checking out this room, I want to go to the shop. Because I keep getting asked to buy presents for people. And if you remember when I tried to, to LP this, uh, of all the people that could have been in this room, it has to be you. Uh, but I, I, I tried to give people presents and it didn't work out too well. I also kind of messed up the gumball machine minigame, so uh, we're gonna try it again. Only this time we're not gonna fail massively, because I wanna, I wanna at least get. Because here's the thing: if we look at the list of all the people, let's go one by one. Um, you're a sheep. <coughs> Excuse me. You're a sheep. You're annoying. You're a stuck-up piece of crap. You're dead. You're dead. You're creepy and a weirdo. You're fine, I guess. I don't, I, so honestly, I don't really have anything against Hero. Um, you're dead. You're honest. You're awesome. Like you. You're you. You're obviously very intelligent. I want to get to know you better. You're super nice. I want to get to know you better. Uh, 
You're insane. Uh, you're fine, I guess. You're creepy. You're dead. And you're dead. So, we had, like, two, eh, you're fines. A lot of either you're creepies or you're, or you suck. And then only two people out of our cast of characters are people I actually want to get to know better. Uh, so it shouldn't be that hard to buy a present for each of these two people that, that they're, that they would like, right? It, surely it can't be that hard. I don't think so, anyway. Okay. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting. Ah, I want to just dunk myself right in it. Okay, this would be the part where we leave. This is the part where we, where we, we're just going to do our own thing. Of course, it's like Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm, I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange. I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I was getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Oh, okay, okay. First time, first time we get a free time segment, uh, we're gonna go to the shop. I'm assuming we're gonna get free time. Oh, hey, wait, oh, I didn't even, I wasn't even, I was, okay, I didn't even pay attention. Um, I was just kind of glancing over the recording to make sure it was all going properly. So, typically, I, like, like if, if ever I, if I just go on a tangent, sometimes I'll just glance at the recording to make sure it's still recording properly. I didn't, I wasn't looking at the screen. Hina's here. When I go back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was, Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice is immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Anyway, as I was saying, um, first time, assuming, assuming we get a free time segment today, which I'm sure we'll get at least one, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the shop and buy a present, and then we're gonna use, we're gonna tr hope that the present we get is good enough to, to, to become closer with either Hina or Kyoko. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? No. Well, my stomach it kind of made me hungry, so, you know. Uh, <laughs> guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Mr. Hasehina is pretty much the same, it looks Just like. Hey, you old people don't have any room to talk. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? Jeez, you're... Uh, I'm not gonna read that sentence out loud. We're just gonna move right along. Stay away from her, fiend. Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Right? Okay. Uh, well, that didn't... Okay, so I guess... Uh, first things first, I want to talk to you before anybody else. So, um... Uh, I wasn't able to help much in the investigation, but I did make one discovery. I didn't have any donor really discovery, did it? What does that even mean? Right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamins and supplements would be fine. Mm. I did look, but... No dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. See. I see. That's disappointing. Mm. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay, uh, next up, Kyoko. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's, apparently it's an air purifier. Oh, what's something like that doing here? Is the device really that big? I really don't get it. Okay. Uh, next up, I guess we'll talk to uh, Sakura. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. Where did they give us a rest already for serious? Give me back my bright blue skies. Just forget about it. Impossible. Make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Hmm. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So the it would seem escape being the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Uh, talk to you. Hmm. You can tell I'm saving my least favorite characters for last. Oh, I just remembered. I saw the a little while ago. Oh, yeah, he's here. I forgot, I forgot he even existed, honestly. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where? Was he? Uh, um, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, no, no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> You're insane. She just ran off. Is No, she's not okay. She's the exact opposite of okay. We should not concern ourselves with her. I, I feel like maybe we should. She, she's a murderous psychopath running around with a bunch of really sharp scissors. Maybe we should concern ourselves with her. 
Okay, uh, Taka next. It's no use. Great, lovely chat, and f uh, we saved the worst for last. Mm -hmm. There was an iron room in the third floor and had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found some while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. No. Well, let's see it. What the, what the heck? It seems like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is it some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing. Rude! She's not strange! She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this Sofumi. Of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. Do you have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! That's... you, you came to this realization just now? What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. Well, clearly not if you just dropped it... Uh... Randomly. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Why would it ever appear in the physics lab? However, ah, but look at it! It got all messed up! Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I may be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine if it's going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Okay. Uh, well, that should be everybody here. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, you know what, I kinda, I, um, might have completely forgotten that you were even, in, you were even here. There is some piece of good news, just, just, there just happens to be a wreck room from the third floor. I know that, that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Will someone join me in a, in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say, so now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like, dirty? No, 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 not that, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Hiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Oh. Showed the three of them together? Laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. then the picture wasn't taken Let's here. See. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here, I bet they're still alive. They left the school and took that picture. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they did. Is that right? That's impossible after all. We saw it with our own eyes. I mean, you guys didn't because YouTube copyright, but they did. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. Yeah, honestly, I just, I kind of forgot she was even a character, to be honest. And then there's, like, I didn't even, when I, when I said these are the, these are, uh, three dead people, I didn't even, I didn't even, like, I, I, I knew, Say I knew about Sayaka, but I, I just, like, I just didn't, like, obviously you don't forget her, but Junko, I just, she was in this game for such little time, um, that I just didn't even, like, she, she's just a distant memory at this point, um, although I do remember her, her, like, oh my god voice, Sayaka, that wasn't an illusion, it was real, I'm sure of it, they all died, there's no way any of them are still alive. So we had to figure out when that picture was taken. Well, it could most likely forge it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forge? Is that all there is to it? Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. He's right, but more importantly. On another topic, there's something that has been bothering me. I'd like to discuss that. Okay. And what exactly has been bothering you? <laughs> there is also something that has been... Bothering me. Which I would like to discuss. What's bothering you, Celeste? Really? It's about Hina. What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person. But whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Okay? Whenever he lies, Super Nose gets just a little bit l That's... You... That... What? Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, I was about to say, you, you must be trolling right now. Huh? Oh. But your reaction has now confirmed it. You were lying. <gasps> That's no fair! <laughs> hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina, you know, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you feeling guilty about something? No, it's not it at all. It's just, I, mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Okay, and what is that reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because 
even if I came and told you that truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? At this point, I'm ready to accept anything. I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Mm -hmm. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are. See, I told you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. Uh, blind faith isn't always the best idea. Uh, like, like, like if someone walks up to me and says, "Hey, there's a ghost behind you," I'm gonna be like, like, let, let's say my best friend of all time comes comes into my room and says, "Hey, there's a ghost literally directly behind you." I'm gonna look at them and be like, "Are you okay? Are, are, are you, do, do, do you need help? Like, I'm not gonna." Obviously, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, but okay. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So yeah, so, like, my reaction to that would be, it wouldn't be, you're crazy. Like, if I was in this room right now, and Hina, especially because, like, I, we're, we're closer with Hina than pretty much anybody else right now. Like, if my friend came up to me and said, I saw a ghost. Obviously, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, no, you didn't. But obviously, I'm not gonna say that out loud. What I would, I would, I would say something more along the lines of, okay, tell me what you saw, and maybe we can figure out a logical explanation for what for what happened. Um, and then, we, then we would walk through the specifics of what it was, and then we'd probably we we'd, we'd get to the bottom of it, obviously, of what actually happened. So, like, I'm so I'm guessing that what what it's gonna be is it's probably gonna be like, uh, I mean, I don't even know. So, like, logically, I'm thinking it has to be, like, a laptop or something. Either a laptop, or a monitor, or a screensaver, or, or if you want to get super old school, it's just a picture of her face that was, like, that a green light is shining on it. Um, but any of those things would, would be the result of, I guess, Monokuma just, like, trolling us for the, for the, for the sake of it. Which, like, doesn't really fit his character so far, so I don't really, like, that would be my guess as to what it was, but I... But I couldn't come up with a reason as to why it was the way that it was. So let's, let's hear her story and see, see what happened. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I and mean, yes, I know that we played as her at the beginning of, the, of this chapter. But what we experienced, obviously, is not what actually happened. Like, obviously, we didn't actually see a ghost. So I want to see if we can get her to describe what it was so we can get to the bottom of it. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up, up until now. I just ended up getting getting more upset. So I tried to cheer myself. I thought I'd go get some donuts. Uh, uh, donuts again? And you ignore the rule regarding nighttime. I know, sorry, I feel really bad about that. Anyway, please continue. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. Yeah, see, look at it, it's like... It's like an old CRT TV. You can because you can see like the border around it, and it, it's kind of curved, as if as if it's a classic non-flat screen CRT TV. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Hero. Say what? No way, a ghost? Honestly, it is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathroom and see what Hina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If you don't find anything else, that'll be the end of it. Also, it's, it's not like you have anything better to do with your life right now, so you may as well. What? You're gonna go try and see a g g ghost? Is that really good idea? I might put a curse on you. I uh, yeah, but... You can wait here if you want. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. What are you going to do, Celeste? To I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. Oh. I guess that's a yes. He's just, I, he's just like, like, I, I already don't really care about him all that much, because he's just kind of like, listen to me, I'm the leader, you will do what I say, but now he's like, he, so he was annoying before, now he's just like, a nothing character, he's not even here, because like, I, the thing is, I don't, like, I get why they want you to be, feel sad for him, because he, of the relationship he had with Mondo, the thing is, I don't buy it, because we saw, every scene in which they interacted, we were present for that, so I don't buy that they had this super ultra close bond, at all, it just, hmm. So that that's why I'm just kind of like, okay, you're you're a character, I guess. It was right here. I, I saw it right here in the in the dressing room. Um, Ugh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it you saw Hero's ghost? No. Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Hero. Okay, so do so we need to check the lockers then? 
Well, actually, wait. There's something down here, if I can focus on it. Uh, is this the locker? Okay, it doesn't. I was trying to check that thing on the floor, but it just it just homed on the lockers instead. There's something in here. Yep, okay. So, okay. So, it wasn't an old-fashioned CRT TV. It looked like it, but it was still a monitor. Is that the locker? Is a laptop? Or something like that doing here? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. Oh. I didn't even pay attention to that. The laptop looks pretty old. It's all, it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. But I thought it was broken. I bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Uh, that's not how that works at all. You don't... Okay. Time for a mini rant. Because I was in, in... From elementary school through the end of high school, I was the tech guy. Like, I was the guy that you came to if you had any kind of tech problem. Even, even the teachers were like, Hey, can you help me fix this? I don't know what's going on. Um, like, it was... I'll never forget it. One day in 8th grade, Algebra 1... Uh, we, we were in class, we were doing our thing, and then someone opened the classroom door, and the teacher was like, Can I help you? And they said, Yeah, we need to borrow Trevor for a second, we need to fix a tech problem. And everyone just like, Okay, I guess that's what we're doing now. Like, I was I was in I was in gym class, we were outside playing a game, and people just, like, stepped, like, peeked, peeked head one head, out of, the, head out, of the, out of the school and, like, yelled at the top of their lungs, Hey, we need your help to fix a tech problem! I was, like, the guy. So it gets, but here's the, so, the, the, I promise there's a point to this, because, a lot of people seem to, and I was able to fix pretty much everything, but there were some instances where I'm just like, this isn't my level of expertise, I don't know, like, I don't, I can, I, I was usually able to figure out generally what was going on and try to offer some kind of a solution. Um, but generally speaking, it's like, a lot of people seem to conflate hardware expertise with software expertise, but they're not the same thing. You have people who are experts in software engineering, who can, who are wizards with programming, who can bend software to their will to do whatever they want. But then you then you put them in front of a computer and or you you give them a bunch of computer parts and and you're like build your own computer and then they just like they try snapping them together like Legos. It's not how that works. Conversely, you're people who are experts with computer uh, construction and, and like fixing the fixing the, the hardware of a computer and all that. But then you sit them down in front of a C plus plus program a C plus plus program and they'll be like uh uh uh. Uh, press jump button to do thing and th th they don't know what they're doing the two skill being skilled with computers is not an it's, it's not an all of an all or nothing thing it's like there's degrees to which it to which you are skilled in it so being like being really talented with software does not mean you're really talented with fixing actual computers being really skilled at fixing computers does not mean you're able to to engineer software or write code or anything like that and the reason why that applies to this game is because Chihiro being the ultimate programmer, um, that's not quite, like, the, the skill sets do not, it's not, like, they can overlap, they can overlap, but it's not an automatic thing, like, the, like, if I was here, in this room, and, and, she, and Sakura said, Chihiro was an ultimate programmer, obviously he must have known, uh, what, obviously he must have known how to fix the, how to fix the computer, it's like, no, that's not how that works at all, but, whatever, I guess. More importantly, he needs a saw green light, yes? Surely you do not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh, Celeste, shut the hell up. Oh, man, if I had the love, the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker. Also, okay, so she, wait a minute, Celeste, she was sleep deprived at 3 a.m. in the morning or whatever. She was, ter she was terrified of hearing a noise and she was already in a very sour mood. Given the events of this school, I would not blame her for thinking she saw something at that time of night. I- Celeste... Uh, also, I don't- I didn't see you making any genius deductions during the trial either, Celeste. Hey, it's okay, on. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, at one time I thought it spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean, don't be mean. I'm just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, this is, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance cameras. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no camera in here. Which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? True. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Jihiro shining pale hey. green. 
I think it would be best if we investigate this lots of in a little more detail. Okay, let's give it a shot. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There's a bunch of different icons on the desktop. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego? Mm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create a different aspects of a personality. You consider something like a pen name. Dakota. Could you let me see it, sheep? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. What? Um... What? Oh, no! Calm down. It's not a ghost. Um, then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type hands blowing across the keyboard. What are you? And then... And this will be the part where I run out of the room as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone, and everything. It's Jihiro. It. Alter Ego, I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI yeah, program? Right. It's Jihiro, you earned his title Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Jihiro uses a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, came up with a breakthrough in all of artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine reinforcement learning? True. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego? A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process is much different from how humans work. If you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. If that's what your hero created, that's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to the dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> um, but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Fun you rolling into 2D. This is the most excellent 2D possible! But he's a guy, and also, uh, so what? I feel as if... Oh, that's why no problem. I mean... That... Being attracted to a computer program thing? Eh, uh, that one might be a little weird. Let's, 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 let's maybe stay away from that. That's a little creepy. I must admit, that part... Uh, I don't know about that one there, Chief. Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko tied the way rhythmically. How much you know about what's going on? Gotcha. Only gave me a general yeah. idea. I do know things have become very grave. He found some caught up with this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot another question. Why are you here? Well. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored in this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection of them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected society means they must contain some important secret. For example, Perhaps the secret of the school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked the next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? Uh, it's gonna be a while, but I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko tied quickly. Keep it up, be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. I got a secret plan already just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, that is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Are Why? You okay have you forgotten? This? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but he won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. So then what can we do? So once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. I'm sure that won't end in disaster. Well, actually, I guess not, because she's... She's, like, super important, so Monokuma would never let anything happen to her. But if you leave it to open all night, it's then true. there's a chance I might become a victim myself, I know. However, no, I think you know you're immune, because you know that Monokuma needs you to carry out his plan or whatever, so... He, you know you know you're invincible, and he won't let anything happen to you. But I'm not as weak as you may think. 
I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident. Oh, I don't doubt that you would be capable enough to handle yourself in a fight. However, I think that part of the reason why you're so confident about leaving your door open, because I don't... Here's the thing. Even if you are the strongest... Like, Sakura's not leaving her door open, and she could kick all of our asses. But she's still leaving her door open because she's not an idiot, right? She's not going to in openly invite someone to come in and be like, Hey, you want to get out of here? Fresh meat, right here. Um... So I, I think it's a very strong likelihood that the reason Kyoko is so confident in her ability to safely leave the door open is because she knows if anyone tried to kill her, Monokuma would be like, eh, no. That comment was somewhat similar to Bakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Oh, I forgot he even existed. Thanks for reminding me. Had an entirely different feel for sure, like someone who had been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who had been born onto a battlefield. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Would you mind if I asked a few questions? I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Jihiro was dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow I feel kind of sorry for her. I can't imagine how I must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> It is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Uh, Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's, that, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming? Or could he have actually been worried about could us? What's wrong, Hero? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we can call for help on the outside. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> That's way too dangerous. The last time we'd find out in no time. Uh, oh, yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks, says the one who wants to leave her door open. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the final analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. <laughs> this feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Uh, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? That's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye, we'll be back, I promise. Yeah. Come on, Ifumi, let's go. Bye. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. Alright. This is a little weird. I gotta admit. Um, this is bizarre, to say the least. That, um... So, first of all, I don't buy that Chihiro would have been able to fix the broken laptop. I don't buy that for a second. The, the skills don't conflate. Um, he somehow, in secret, developed his own artificial intelligence inside the school okay um like i i don't know i can't quite put my finger on it but this this just just feels like uh, first off the fact that hifumi is like salivating at the thought of spending time with the artificial intelligence is like uh, you're not halo you don't you don't you haven't developed this enough for that to be a payoff this is that's just creepy um so, I, I don't know, I just, it's just not quite sitting right with me so far, but I guess we'll, we'll let it play out, we'll see how it goes. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing to something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Hi, my name is Monokuma. I show up when I'm least wanted and also least expected. Dun da da da! Hina has gained enough experience to level up! So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma. You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Oh, keeping secrets. No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied. Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean that we have to do it. Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? You gross. You said do it. Well, you said it first. We were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We've not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections, so we decided to do rock and sisters to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that's why we were all so pleased. That's your cover story. Really? That, you Okay. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come oh, jeez, what, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. Well, ladies, shall we go? So as they come up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. Damnation. 
nuts and damn it, we totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Um, yeah, but tomorrow for sure. We'll definitely get the bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hold on. I'm not buying this bullshit. Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> of course you're salivating at the thought of that. You're absolutely right. No. 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 That is not your reaction to that thought you heard about the 2D. <laughs> All you need is shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this is... I... I don't want to read this. I was supposed to ask myself, should I... S no. No. No, you are not going to do that. I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Those are the facts. Yeah, no. What? No, you're not... Did, you were considering this? You were considering sneaking into the dressing room while they were all in... First of all, I was under the impression this is just a ruse, right? Like, they were just doing it to gonna go into the dressing room to pretend, and then they were all gonna go back to normal after he left. But assuming that they're actually gonna take a bath, you were considering going in there? To sneak a peek, really, Hifumi? I mean, I, I, am I surprised? No. But, like, come on. I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes of your, or your dreams or adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. That's just wrong and weird and creepy and you... D no. I see, I can't even describe... Oh. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn on the, the- Just- Oh my god, sheep! Whoa! The worst. Okay. Well, that was a conversation I don't want to have ever again. Like, oh my god, shut up! Uh, I guess you did the real thing just like any other guy, huh? No, no, I did- the, the, mo I, I would hope that most- Most rational people, when presented with that option, would be like, yeah, no, that's a that's wrong. That's creepy. That's weird. I don't want to do that. But apparently, then we have this guy over here. It's like <laughs> I can't control myself. <laughs> Must sneak peek. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's my intimidation of Hifumi, by the way. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. Oh, oh. So you mean you're gonna go into the bathhouse for research purposes, huh? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, I'm sure everyone will buy that story, hook, line, and sinker. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay, maybe. No way. Ugh, this is a conversation that I'd rather not be having right now, but we're having it because Safumi's a sack of shit. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls have finished their bath and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Man, what a nice bath. He's fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. No matter how long, but I'd like to make myself a nice protein coffee. But... <sighs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end, That's what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... I've seen how happy we were. An evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Mm. You're all so terrible to me, says the little teddy bear that's forcing us to kill each other to survive. My entire Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well, 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 oh, well, well, have I got your attention? Ooh, let's head to the gym where your presence await. No questions, no till dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh, oh joy. Um, what is it? What are you scheming this time? It's seem... probably gonna repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't wanna. I don't wanna do this anymore. Mm. Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However. It's okay, we have alter ego. I'm sure I'll help. I'll find something that'll help us Correct. for now. We have to just endure it, come what may. Okay, here we go. Oh, great, my favorite. Guess who's back? Back again. It's Bikuya, and he sucks. What? <sighs> to be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, we'd all be dead. Genuine question to everybody watching. Do you like him? Is there anybody who actually likes Bikuya? Just one person, just one. We just need one person. I don't think this, I do not think there's a single person on planet Earth that actually likes this guy. I gotta be honest here. I don't think it's possible. Like, you, you don't say that and then just walk away. You don't. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> that same as always, I see. Here on the other hand. 
Yeah, she's back to normal. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her dipping down herself, huh? I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. So, so now she goes from maniac or manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. It seems kind of late to add that into the mix. The Why does everyone keep making fun of me? Help you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. What? <laughs> the... That's a very specific request. You want us to feel, feel happy and then, okay. Yikes. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Anyway, looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... It looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on out with it. What kind of motive are you prepared for us this time? However, Whatever you suggest is too well, we will not break. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Ah ha ha ha! Without further ado, I give you this! Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow 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 am I right? That's the motor you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... It's not nearly enough. Oh... It's true. When it comes to motors, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But there's no way we'd kill each other for money! Of course. She's right, you can't purchase a person's life. Um, you can say ten million or however much, I don't give a crap, we're serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's ten million or any other amount of money, no, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. Come on, stop... Well, I mean, the fact that there's... How many chapters are in this game, by the way? I, I genuinely don't know. I would guess five. Um, and literally my reason for that is Ace Attorney has five cases. But I don't actually know how many chapters are in this game. So, there could be ten for all I know. Um, but, it's, uh, point being, it's obviously that's not true. There's gonna be at least one more victim because we're in a chapter right now. Uh, what did I just do? I, okay, I, did I hit L2? L1? Okay, that's weird. So apparently if you push L1, it hides the UI. Huh. Interesting. I can't wait. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. My community is to be leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um, There's nothing to worry about, right? No one would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge other by your own standard. Yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, so me, what about you? No, I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah. Then... Hey. Just stop. Pressing us about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, ugly? Don't worry, either way, we're, whatever's going to happen with that will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, I don't, don't need the same nighttime announcement again. It's that time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open, uh, to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. Just because my door's open, don't assume that it will make me an easy target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Okay, okay, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. And don't think about that whole money thing, got it? Good, let's break. How's that? Pretty good, right, Taka? He's still dead inside. He's, he's still just dead inside. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money, there's no way that's gonna get on anyone else to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, murder can still happen. That's a lesson we learned. But this time, this time it's different, I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Now it's time for Monokuma Theater! Everyone's favorite part. 
little kids have it so easy. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. It's like a little in front of their name, and right at the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Well, they'll find them. I would have wanted to start calling me Little Monokuma. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough littles. More littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment. I know. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. That's not how that works. Our dreams are expanding, ding ding. Good morning. It's another beautiful day. Well then, I guess we should head to the dining hall. Okay. Well, let's go to the dining hall, I suppose. Need the area? Yes. Oh, hey everybody. Goodbye, everybody. We're going straight to the going straight for the dining hall. See what wonders await us inside here. All right. What do we got? We got everybody. Could it be? So the people here today. Oh, it seems yesterday, just the seven. Kyuya and Toko are a lost cause, but it looks like Taka has decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just given up. The people blown as tight as he is when you snap, you snap hard. Or just some way to make him better. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Yeah, I didn't have any problems. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there wasn't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw on one attention from the mastermind. She's talking to you, Hifumi. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. I knew it. Um. No, it's like you said, we all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? Hey. Whatever, this is where we have to eat. We don't have this time to stand around flapping our lips. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We broke us in a rush and then head back to our rooms. Oh, that, that's the free time music. Free time? That's the free time music. I know that music. What should I do today? Yeah, free time! Finally! Okay. First things first. We are going to the shop and we're going to buy somebody a present. Hey there, store. Alright. Let's get ourselves a present. Or maybe a couple. I don't know. I need, I need to remind myself how this works. I think what happens is the more you put in, the higher your chance gets to buy, to get a good present. Up to a point. Because I, I, I put all my eggs in one basket last time and I got nothing. Um, okay, so, how does this work? What do I... No, okay, it's not that. Hold on, I, I gotta, I gotta re-familiarize myself with how this works. Okay, you use the, the down arrow on the D-pad. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there's a... Alright, I guess because I've never used it before, there's a 0% chance of repeat. So I may as well just, I may, let's just, use, just, we'll just do one coin out, because there's a 0% chance of repeat. Uh... We got an item. Great, okay, so I guess we'll just... So I guess this will take a long time to do, but I really want to try to get a present that's actually going to be good for the people we want to get close to. So I'm just going to do this for a while. Because it looks like the, m the more we do it, the more chance of a repeat we get. So I'm going to put in more and more coins every time uh, so that we get the chance down to 0% every single time. Alright, this is low as we're going to get it with our final set of coins. 8.7% 2 chance of a repeat, okay. Uh, not too bad. I think that's a new item. I, know, I wasn't really keeping track, okay. So that's all the items that we're gonna get for now. That's as that's as many as we possibly can get. So now let's actually take a look at the items we got and see if literally uh, okay where we get them presents. Okay, let's see if literally any of these are something that they would like. I mean, Hina might like this, you know, like cute bunny earmuffs. She might she might be into that. I don't know. I gotta be honest, none of this is really standing out for Kyoko. I mean, we got a lot of presents, just nothing. Millennial prize problems. That's yeah, no, but oh. Oh, Azura's Tears. Lovely. I think this is the closest we're gonna get. Is a voice-changing bow tie of all things. Because it's like, she, she clearly knows her way around the, um, around technology if she was able to, if she, if she knows the, the stuff about the AI that well, so maybe, maybe this, maybe she'd be impressed by this. I don't know. Um, we're, we're gonna try this for Kyoko, and we're gonna try the bunny earmuffs for Hina. Um, now it's a matter of actually trying to spend time with them, so let's see if we can figure out where they are. Alright, Hina's here, so we'll go- we'll go there first. Uh, in the physics lab, I guess? I'll go in the physics lab. Let's see... Uh, is she here? Uh... It doesn't look- oh wait, uh... Kyoko's back here. Oh wait, I didn't- 
Wasn't... Oh, they're... Oh, they're like hiding around... Oh, never mind. Hold on. They're, they're like hiding around the corner. Okay, let's go here. Uh... Hiding around... Wait, hold on. Um... Game? Are, are you sure about that? It... It... Unless I'm reading this map incorrectly, it says they should be right here. But they're clearly not. Which is... Bizarre, okay. I guess they're not right there, okay. Like, well... I mean, we, we want to spend time with Kyoko anyway. Uh, well, let's hope we get more than one free time today. Uh, so that we can spend time with... So we can try to spend time with Hina again later. We'll spend time with Kyoko for now. And we'll see if the gift actually... If she actually likes the gift. I have to put all my... I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have to time worry about anyone else. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Let's spend some time with Kyoko. You want to spend time with me? But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. We're actually give Yes, let's give her a present and see... Let's see how badly I... I am at guessing what she would like. Voice changing bow tie. Let's give it a shot. I actually feel pleased. Oh, no! Oh, I called it! She did like it! How strange. I get the person she liked it. That's good. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, I'm Kyoko. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. You could, you could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because you could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friends so you can gather information. No, no, that's what? not... Well, then let's do a quick test, shall we? Uh, test? That's right. If you're, a, is you're, is you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, it should be an easy question. Okay, so I just have to answer your question. Is that so it? Then. Are you ready? You, could, you consider Hina as one of your friends, yes? Yes. And? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? Swimming. That's an easy one. His ultimate ability is she's training for the Olympics and swimming. No. This is an option. This is an option. Swimming. Everybody Did anybody get this question wrong? Correct. Well, I asked and answered. Then you're pla then you're pleased the camaraderie are true. That's not exactly the deepest question you could have asked me about her. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person that you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then. Okay, then as promised, what would you like to know about me? Okay, uh, okay, so so if you give a present to somebody, they're gonna open up to you a bit more. That's good to know. Now I'm excited to try those bunny earmuffs to see if if see if see if Hina likes them. What school did you used to go to before you came so here? Before I came here, I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it? Excuse me. Was it an exchange program, or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose. Wow, the question marks. Anyway, okay. So she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government, top secret clearance. More question marks. Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin. <laughs> really, that's all you can think of. I kept my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She's not even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery, and hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. And that's why she's and that is why she's an intriguing character. Kyoko's work is updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points is increased. Hey, look at you go. Okay, cool, but we still only have melodious voice, so it doesn't really matter. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Can we hang out with someone else or do we have to go to bed? I still got some time, so what should I do? Ding dong. Sounds like someone's here. Okay, well let's see who it is. Oh, hello, Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Hero? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? No, not quite. Let me see. I, I want to talk to him, Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Okay. Leave the area. Sure. Okay, I don't know if this is such a great idea, but let's go to the bathhouse. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? I, I mean, well, I... <sighs> I don't, like, I hate Bakuya. I despise Bakuya. I don't hate you. You're just annoying. But, like, I don't, like, 
I don't have this a burning hatred for you in the bottom of my soul like I do for Peculia. You're just like, ah, uh, whatever. It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? Uh, if Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's possible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but it quickly closed my mouth. The one asking the questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mata would become. I don't... I don't... So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... Um... What? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yeah. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it right, bro? What am I saying? Of course you do. That's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo the Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. I'm sure that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. What if I, what if I said, with, said it with that kind of condescending tone? Taka? It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart. They're inside of me. Um... Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Y your eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. I guess I'm guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, let's just calm down. I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Okay. He's totally lost it. Hey, Taka, hold on. I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Oh, uh, you know, see, this is just- Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me, for everyone. S sorry. If you're not- If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and, uh, something. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm so worried about him. Yeah, it's 10 p.m., yeah. Nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out what Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. And now it's time for our favorite bit, Monokuma Theater. I don't really know what the point of this is. Unless it has a payoff later, I don't really... I'm, I'm not really a big fan of these sections. You wanna know why I hate video games? You might not believe it, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. He just bought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, pressing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watch. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Like, like, I just don't get the point of them. And now it's, uh, it's his announcement that today is another beautiful day. Alright, I need to hurry to get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. Because we've been going for about an hour and a half at this point, and usually something happens. Or at least you can feel like something's going to happen. Like, you're, you can usually get a sense of when you're approaching the end of the invest of, of the, of the daily life section. But we are... It doesn't seem like we're actually approaching that. It seems like this might be a bit longer, so I think I'm gonna split this one into two parts. Uh, thoughts so far? We gave Kyoko a present and she liked it. That's cool. Um, it's a little weird that Taka is, like, I, I don't want to say obsessed with the computer, but, like, that whole scene was just bizarre. I, I don't know. I'll reserve judgment for a little while, though, longer, though. Okay, so that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Goodbye.